hey, oh, hey, oh. Good morning. Hey, oh. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Ah. Hey, hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Um, today. Hello. Today. This morning. Oh, oh. This is night. Oh. Um, we're head oh. heading down to Ocean Terminal. Um, it's not, you know, not been doing too much videoing. But I thought I'd maybe just switch it on and just have a bit of a, a bit of an update. Uh, I'm still asleep, of course. Um, what the fuck is that? A fox. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, Foxy, Mr. Fox, looked like he might have run in front of me, but. Who knows? Stay with me so everything's been going well. I had to stop and get some diesel for the car. Uh, popped in Shell, Storfin. Um, my car only gets the finest of fuels. Um, I'm in the seat. <laughs> The C3 today, and one th another thing. Oh, what's down there? Another thing about the C3. Hello, welcome to the channel. It's a caravan. Is um, the heater is amazing? So many things about cars. When you're, you know, when you're, when you're wanting a car, and what's happened is, um, they become so unnecessarily complicated. When the new, you know, the manufacturers sort of really had developed cars to a wonderful extent, that they could make a cheap, economical car, you know, that everybody could use and be comfortable, reliable, you know, and something that you could live with quite easily. And then just, that wasn't good enough for them. So I don't know which came first. Was it the, the green ideology? Which was fake, anyway. Because uh, the electric vehicles are not... Uh, they are worse for the environment than ice vehicles. They're just sort of peddling the, the lie, or the, you know, the, the media spin that for the low zero emissions, which is like false, a falsehood. It would probably be good if there was claims or some kind of, you know, court action against that type of dishonesty. I mean, even the NHS does it, you know, zero emissions ban. But it's, that's funny, I've just came right into Grant, Granton, right? And I've seen three foxes. You know, just in Granton, I've seen three. Yeah, it's like, is it just Granton that they hang around? And if so, why? Well, I think it'd probably down to the, back to the green thing again. You know, because I don't want to be horrible, but at the end of the day, foxes are vermin. You know, and, and when we sort of throw away things that we used to do, so that would be maybe culling the population or maintaining some kind of order of the population of foxes. Because, um, of course, they did spread rabies, didn't they? Uh, that was the thing in the years in the 70s. So... Yeah, I'm sure I don't want to hurt any animals, but um, it's not particularly good seeing them roaming about like that. So that was three I encountered just in a short space of time. And they're probably related as well. There's another one. Parking places full of foxes. Isn't that amazing, eh? That's four. Four foxes. Um, it's a fox. This is a fox update on this, this video. I suppose they're used to living in the city. They probably wouldn't survive if they got put out into the country. It 
So what do they survive off? Of? Probably just food that's been dumped in the dumpsters and stuff. Or maybe people will feed them. You know, good to remember. I remember when my, my friend who lives just here, actually. Total coincidence I'm going to talk about. She was feeding a fox at a burger, at a burger van. And uh, a burger van. And this lorry driver went fucking nuts at her. And he was right. You know, um, shouldn't encourage him because basically, health, you know, hygiene, health, health and safety, hygiene stuff. Um, seem to be lucky with the, the light, traffic lights. You, you gotta keep an eye on where you're going as well. And you're, you know, you're sort of like early in the morning and, uh, Because they change road layouts quite a lot as well, don't they? In Edinburgh, constantly changing road layouts. Um, I think I'm going off here. Yeah. Down to the left here. Yeah. Ooh. So, watch out for the trams. Yeah, everything's, everything's running smoothly. I don't know if, if there's a queue, uh, if, it'd be great if we can drive straight into the car park, but it depends what time it is. It's coming up from 20 to five. So I don't know if they'll be in yet. It depends if the gate's locked. I'm gonna have to sit in a queue. Oh, we've got a red light, oh dear. A red light. Yeah, there's parked at the door. So, um, this video is going to end. It's going to end in one momento. Right. So, um, vehicles switched off. Uh, so here we are. We're at this building. There's a tram bit there. This is building. It's going at that building there. I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about. Um, it's getting knocked down. The car park's getting knocked down. And... I'm not sure if it's the whole thing's getting knocked down. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's only 20 years old. <laughs> but, I, I, and they just talk, they tell lies when they're, the planning permission everyone was granted and it was about sustainability. <laughs> Total lies. <laughs> it's to get people to start using buses, <laughs> trams, all lies. Lying bastards. <laughs> I hate it when I see lies, but <laughs> it's quite easy to. To see them, you don't have to look far. So I'm going to end the video now with um, a view of that. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>